It's a long way to Tipperary. The Nokia 33110 is a tier 5 British moving wall and is the cousin of the T95. This tank is usually forgotten as that one tier 5 British tank no one knows how to kill, and is usually rarely seen on the battlefield, as people are too busy playing with their $1000 iPhones, instead of realizing the glorious potential of the not $1000 Nokia 33110. In this video, I am aiming to change that fact by telling you why you should go buy one. The Nokia is like a Nokia, indestructible, made with impervious British steel exported to Finland, where Nokias are made. This tank is different from the T95 in many ways, but they do not matter. The main difference is that gold rounds can pen the T95, but gold rounds cannot pen the Nokia, at all. If you want to drive something that is the true definition of invincible, then continue watching. The Nokia has 203mm of armor on its lower front, and 152mm of armor on its superstructure, 115mm of armor on its lower hull side and 101mm of armor on the side and rear of the superstructure. Your armor is so thick, that even some tier 8 tanks cannot penetrate your armor, but your tank is tier 5, so you will only meet tier 6 tanks at the most. Tier 7 if you're platooned with a tier 6 tank. Out of all the tanks you will meet, there are only two that can reliably penetrate your armor, and they are, the Clutch Hill Gun Carrier and the Flak Toaster's Big Brother. That's it. Those are the only tanks that can reliably penetrate the Nokia 33110. Of course, most tanks with decent penetration can reliably penetrate your cupola, but it is small and difficult to hit, so as long as you hide it, you have nothing to worry about. However, in exchange for impenetrable armor, the Nokia has two glaring faults. It's slow as hell, and, it can't pen anything for shit. The Nokia has a top speed of 20 km per hour, and has a choice of two guns. A 6 pounder cannon and a 3 inch howitzer. If you don't care about making money, and just want to do damage, then you mount the howitzer, and spam heat at everything. Your heat pen is the same as your 6 pounder AP pen, but it does a lot more damage. However, for the purpose of this video, I will be showing you the 6 pounder. This tank also has terrible traverse, so if you find yourself getting flanked, reverse into a wall, so they cannot get behind you, and they drive in front of your gun. Your penetration is bad, so if you find so if something with armor shows up, you load a skill round, and penetrate them continuously. If you are in doubt of what to do, just drive in the direction of the enemy, absorb their shots, and watch as their shells bounce harmlessly off your armor. You should also take care as to not get too close, as that makes it easy for people to hit your weak spot. To prepare the Nokia, you load plenty of AP, and some APCR to penetrate tryhards in their iron boxes. If you are running the howitzer, you load plenty of heat, and some HE to balance paper panzers. Again, for consumables you load a repair kit, a multi-purpose kit, and adrenaline. If you want to be faster than a clutch L7, you can also pack nitrous. For equipment you load a rammer, protected modules, optics, a gun laying drive, improved armor, improved control, a toolbox, and whatever other equipment you want. This is the correct way to play the Nokia 33110. Go out there, and build a wall with your armor. 